This is Precalc 11, Chapter 6.1. We're going to be looking at angles in the standard position in Quadrant 1. So, Quadrant 1, we're looking at the axes. So, we're looking at the Cartesian coordinates. So, in Quadrant 1, we have a point P, X, Y. This is also known as the radius. And we have angle theta. This is a Greek letter. And this measurement is x, this measurement is y. This is called our terminal side. And this is called our initial side. And this is our angled in standard position. Notice that positive is counterclockwise. These are our primary trig ratios. And it's useful to remember the mnemonic sir kicks or ticks. So sine theta is y over r, cos theta is x over r, and tan theta is y over x. So here's a typical problem that we have to solve for. Determine the trig ratios if the point is 5, 6 is on the terminal arm in standard position. Always draw a diagram. So this is 5, this is 6, and this is x, this is y, this is r, this is theta. So r equals, we just use Pythagoras here. This is square root, 5 squared plus 6 squared. So we have square root 25 plus 36. And this is square root 61. Now that we have r, x, and y, we can go back and use our primary trig ratios to figure out the answers. So sine theta equals y over r. So we have 6 over root 61. Cos theta equals x over r. And that's 5 over root 61. And tangent theta equals y over x. And we have 6 over 5. And we can compute theta by using any of the ratios. So we can use inverse sine, that's 6 over root 61. Theta can equal inverse cos, 5 over root 61. Or theta can equal inverse tan, 6 over 5. And all of these will give us approximately 50.2 degrees. And if you were to use the radian mode, you would get 0.876 radians. Now, why am I introducing radians? Well, it's on your calculator. Plus, you need to learn it for next year, so I'm reducing the shock of learning it next year by introducing it now. We can convert degrees into radians, and we can convert radians into degrees using these two formulas. Radians are simply the measure of the arc length to the radius. Okay, here's an example of using trig on the Cartesian coordinates. A boat travels 45 kilometers from St. John's, Newfoundland at a heading of north 15 degrees east to go fishing. How far north and east did the boat travel? So let's draw this. 15 degrees east of north is here. However, we need the standard angle, and this is 75 degrees.
and the standard angle is measured from the initial side to the terminal side. So north is our y value. So this is 45 kilometers times sine 75 degrees, and east is 45 kilometers times cosine 75 degrees. So this is approximately 45 times 0.966 and this is 45 <coughs> times 0.2588 and this gives us approximately 43.5 kilometers and this gives us 11.7 kilometers don't forget your units so at this point you need to know one special angle, and that's 45 degrees, or pi over 4 radians. And we have 45 and 45 because this is 90 degrees. So if we label this side as 1, this side is also 1 because sides opposite equal angles are the same. So if we use Pythagorean, square of 1 plus the square of 1 is 2, so this side is square root 2. And sine 45 equals cos 45. So we have 1 over root 2. And if we're working in radians, sine of pi over 4 equals cosine pi over 4. And this is 1 over root 2 as well. So it doesn't matter whether we're working in degrees or radians, these ratios remain the same. And if you're working on TI, let's look at how to convert between the two angles. So we have radians. So if I press sine pi over 4, that gives us 0.707. If I change the mode to degrees, now if I do sine 45, I get 0 0.707. And one of the reasons why I'm teaching you this now is because you might be in the wrong mode. You have to recognize certain special angles will give you certain values. And if you recognize these, you'll know that the calculator is in the right mode or in the incorrect mode. Okay, and if we simply rearrange Sir Kicks or Ticks, we move the r over to this side. We see that r sine theta equals y. And move the r over to this side, we see r cos theta is equal to x. So this is a simple formula that you might want to remember. And this is the same diagram, so you can reference that. And finally, another way to look at tan theta, y over x, y over x, that's your slope. So tangent and slope are frequently used synonymously. And that completes this lesson.